Members, our independent program attorneys, years of experience defending thousands of members in self-defense cases has taught us critical lessons for placing a 911 call regarding self-defense. Here are the five must-know tips. Thanks, Austin. First, if you're ever in a threatening situation and you feel compelled to display or use your gun in self-defense, call 911 as soon as safely possible. But remember, do not discuss the details of what happened with the operator because every call is recorded. Second, what information should you provide? Give the operator the information that's needed for them to send help. Your name, that you are or were a victim of a crime, the location and the nature of your emergency and what emergency services are needed, such as police, EMS, or fire. Also give a general description of what you're wearing to avoid any confusion when the police arrive on scene. And finally, provide essential logistical information. This is the information you need to convey before the police arrive. For example, if you have an intruder at gunpoint in your living room, please don't shoot me. But remember, provide as little information as you can. Third, as we've already discussed, every 911 call is recorded and can be used against you in court. Try to avoid words like killed, shot, or other alarming phrases when talking to the operator. But understand, at this point, your adrenaline will be pumping at its maximum. Fourth, 911 operators are trained to keep you on the phone talking about the situation. However, you are not required to stay on the line. Once you complete your phone call, hang up and ignore the 911 operator's attempts to call you back. Fifth, do not waive your rights. You may need them. And sixth, I know we said there was only gonna be five, but this is a big one. Once you hang up with the 911 operator, call the US Law Shield Attorney Answered Emergency Hotline right away. The independent program attorney will help you with what to say and what to do when the police arrive. And those are your five tips. Don't waive your rights. Get in touch with your independent program attorney immediately so they can help you preserve those rights. Members, during your time of need, an independent program attorney is ready to assist you and is always just a phone call away. Call the emergency hotline located in the back of your member card.